Hello everyone, we will be learning string streams today. Uh, firstly, I would like to create a function to, um, to organize some uh, output for me. And it will return string. And the name is pretty string. I will give. And later on, this will take two parameters. First one is string, product name, product name. And second one is double price. And this function will organize these things for me and return. So at the end, I will be printing out whatever the output is generating pretty string. And I will be printing out through here. So what I'm going to do is in this pretty string, I will pass, for example, let me pass tomato is the product name and the price is two dollar thirty cents for now and just for now just to make sure it's working return nothing and i'm going to run my first time and then make sure it has been stopped okay hello world is coming we have nothing yet there so what i'm going to do is i will be printing out everything to the screen nicely this is going to help you understand better. So this is the product name, product name, and I will be printing the product name nicely here. Product name and and line. This is nice. And to be faster, I will be just copying this code, and I will be product price. I'll be printing product price. This is nice price so if i run this code it will print with c out this information tomato and two three but uh, this function is doing nothing actually this is printing so i would like to uh, organize this one into a string nice string so i will be using string stream for now i will explain better and i will call the name is s out stream out okay the name so it will resonate with you but it is now giving me a problem because i don't have i didn't include it yet include now it is the header file is s stream okay so this is for uh, this is for stream stream let me copy paste and put over here stream stream i need this i will save this and instead of s out i mean c out now it is printing to the screen in uh, console i will be printing to the stream so the name stream comes from the stream and i put out so this will become string in order to access uh, this, what is happening now here whatever i am printing instead of printing to console i put everything into the stream so i will be accessing this via s out dot str function so this is a function don't forget this opening closing this uh, braces it's a function now when i run this one it will print again tomato and 2.3 but now i'm not print this guy is not printing directly to the uh, console this is returning me string i am printing over here to the console that's important because in the future if you want to print all this information into the file that's your choice you can do it but if i put put here c out you don't you lose it it will always print to the console but now it will you can do whatever you want you can send to some somewhere else with uh, you know if you have to, if you write a chat application or something like that as you see the prices it says it doesn't have zero at the end so i can organize this with uh, first i need to include uh include io manip class here and put output manipulation and this is io manipulation so for this i will be writing here s out set precision and two here and i will make this fixed so it will print two digits after the uh, after the dot 
so it will no matter what if I have 3 0 it will print 30 anyway for example if I get rid of this one 0 over here and now run it is printing 3 2.2.30 uh, even though I put I removed the 0 here so it will print that one so let me kill this so I will be writing void a slice string. This time I will be slicing some string uh, function, but it's not going. I'm not going to print anything to the screen. String slice me. Okay, this one. And in this case, I will be doing what? This input, whatever it is. I will be slicing this. Let's me let me write some input for this guy. <coughs> Excuse me, string and product list and which is which is uh, it is taking for example pepper and three point thirty four dollar for example. I would like to get pepper 3.34 cents and into the it is appropriate uh, variable pepper will be string this will be double so how can I do this <coughs> I will be doing uh, I will be calling the slice string here without forgetting it I will give this product list let's try what will happen now in here again, I'm going to create string stream. Let me copy from here. And now I will put the name is S in and give the slice me as a parameter. So this value, everything will be put into the this stream. Before going moving forward to using this uh, S in, I will be using C in. If you want to get some information from uh, console what you need what will you be doing this one right c in and for example you have let me put here string uh, product name variable and create a double price and if you are getting these things from user you will be doing this right product name and second thing is again c in and price right you will be doing this and this will capture everything from console but we want to do in this time from stream we put all the string this one pepper and this one in here so instead of c in i will be using s in in this case because i said stream in kind of okay this will get the first one in product name this order is important this is 3.32 for 34 into the price so that's it so let's test this one i'm going to test this one with calling this my function i already have this pretty string over here which will make my life easier see out i will call this pretty string and open close parentheses it asks two parameter on this product name paste and then this price and this should work fine now. Let's uh, let's run this once and make sure we will get pepper uh, and it is price. Luckily, we get this pepper and it is price nicely. So what I'm planning to do is next step. Let me put one new line here just to make it better. And what I'm planning to do is. Uh, I would like to add one another product here. Let's add um, here another product, watermelon. Okay, and it's five dollar fifty cents in this case. But when I run it, you you won't see the watermelon because I am doing only the first part. So in order to get all of them, if you know how to read from a file, I'm sorry. I will be saying while not since end of file. The same thing when you are reading from file, the same functions are valid in here. 
So while it is not end of file, do this operation. It is actually end of file is like end of stream. End of stream is af uh, after th this one. So when I run this, you will see now watermelon as well. So what we have done is we have watermelon as well here. All of them is nicely pr uh, printed and sliced very nicely and this is fine. Zero, three, zero, three, three, four. So I can add more stuff here if I want. If I have one product, TV, $345.69, this will be automatically sliced. And the good thing with, with this one, uh, I can, price is double, so I can do several operations here. If I add one more parameter to, to the, uh, about the amount or the how many TV I bought here, I need to add one, one, one another parameter here. I can read all of them and slice it nicely. So basically, that's it uh, about stream stream. I will be putting this code uh, below the presentation and below the video. Hope it, it is useful for you. So what we have done is a summary. We created this pretty string. We paste, uh, we gave two parameters, one string, one number. And it organized everything and returns us as a string. So we can do anything we want. We can dump into the file, we can print to the screen, we can send into the someone. Uh, this slice string is we have sequence of organized data. We would like to slice it. So we, we use again string stream. This is so useful stuff. Hope you enjoy this video recording.